Hey everybody, I'm back again, uh, this time showing you my 1972 PSA graded card collection. And starting up here again to the uh, 1972 Kellogg's with the uh, 3D imagery. Got uh, William McCovey, this is the Home Run 370 variation. And then uh, Jim Palmer, the uh, Games 1970 variation. Then I have uh, both variations of the Kellogg's Bob Gibson. One with strikeouts, uh, 2,577, and then 2,578, and then the Juan Marichal. And then I showed you already in a previous video the 1970, uh, the 1970 Milton Bradley game. They came out with another game in 1972. Uh, these ones have a, kind of a perforated edge, so they're a little tougher to grade. So anything like sevens or eights in these is a pretty decent grade. And then this is a really cool uh, 1972 Frank Robinson uh, Puerto Rican League sticker. And just look at that cheesy mustache he's got on his face. You won't see him with that mustache on any of his tops cards. This is a Winter League ball thing. So they would play uh, in these leagues in the Winter League and have these, uh, these foreign stickers or cards made. Uh, looking at a couple of old peachy, uh, very similar to the tops of that year. Just a different shade on the back is all the difference. And then once again, the 72 set, you've got a lot of nice Hall of Famers at the twilight of their career, uh, such as Willie Mays and Harmon Killebrew. They came out with these in-action cards, too, that were uh, sequentially one number up from the regular. So uh, Harmon Killebrew had an in-action card here as uh, 51 and 52. Then the, uh, I always loved this card as a kid. Never had it, always wanted it. The Carlton Fisk rookie card with uh, Cecil Cooper, who was another great player in his own right. Doesn't get the credit uh, he probably deserves, but uh, always uh, that was one of my dream cards. Always wanted that as a kid. And they're not that expensive right now. Like, it's not that uh, difficult of a card to get. Then uh, RBI leaders. This one's only a, an excellent mint six. I have a few sixes, um, a few sevens, and a few, uh, mostly sevens, but a few eights as well. When 72 cards, I try to stick a uh, near mint seven, but I do have a few sixes. This is a uh, leader's card with uh, Jim Palmer. Then a, a leader's card with Hank Aaron still hitting home runs, crushing it in 1971. And then Frank Robinson really starting to show his age in this card here. Looking a little bit older there. And here, this is a uh, J.R. Richard card. He was a power pitcher of the late 70s. I think he led the league in uh, strikeouts in 78, 79. And Bob Gibson and Joe Morgan. These cards again in tops variations. Uh, really nice Bob Gibson there in eight. Then a uh, Charlie Huff rookie from 72 in eight. Jim Palmer, like this Willie McCovey card here from 72, him throwing. He's kind of at like an angle too, slight angle, but it kind of adds to the effect. They have kind of a psychedelic uh, card here in 72, a little different than the uh, than previous. It's kind of a foreshadowing the 1975 set that's so popular with the, with the bright colors and kind of just a very different, different from all, all other years, very distinct. And then a Gaylord Perry, a nice Gaylord Perry in an 8, and a Mike Ryan, a very nice example out of 9. Then a Ferguson Jenkins in an 8. Steve Carlton, uh, he was traded this year to the Phillies, so he has a traded card. I don't have that traded card yet. And then a Don Sutton, and then a Pete Rose in a near mint 7. And then the Pete Rose in action also in a near mint 7. And a uh, Juan Marichal card. The colors just really pop out, pop out at you with that Giants logo there on that card. And then this, uh, this in action Juan Marichal, great, uh, great rendition of that leg kick. He hit that patented leg kick that he was famous for. This Nolan Ryan in a six. So uh, this card looks more like a seven to me, but. Uh, this Rod Carew in action card. This is a short print card. Still looking to get the Rod Carew, uh, just the regular one. And then here, Tops did a traded set and the high numbers. 
So that Joe Morgan, he was traded to the uh, Cincinnati Reds to, uh, to begin that run with the Big Red Machine coming from the Astros. And then uh, Frank Robinson, he, uh, he gets traded as well from, from Baltimore and spent, I, I think he spent uh, one year, one year of the Dodgers, then he did a year in the Angels, and then he finished up with the Indians. But uh, here's a cool traded card. These are all high numbers. And then my last two cards, a couple of high numbers. This one is actually the, the true Ron Say rookie. You see him uh, the next year in 1973 on the same card with Mike Schmidt and that high print as well, short, high, high number short print as well. But he had a uh, high number short print a year earlier as his true rookie card. And then uh, this high series uh, Hoyt Wilhelm too. This is Hoyt's uh, last card. Uh, so everyone, uh, that is it for my 1972 uh, collection. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching.